Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Students return Monday to four schools ordered closed for a week to avert the spread of the influenza A H1N1. The SK Asunta 2 in Petaling Jaya Monday morning showed an 81.7% attendance. Deputy Education Minister Wee Ka Siong says Asunta 1 resumed later in the afternoon session. He says that the A H1N1 committee would rope in a representative from the Nation Sports Council to help make decisions on how to best control the spread of the flu. Asunta 1 and 2 are among the four schools, including SRK Jalan Davidson and Sri Champaka, that were closed after students were found to have been infected with the flu locally. In a statement Monday, Health Ministry Director General Tan Sri Dr. Ismail Marikan said another 20 AH1N1 cases were reported in Malaysia, of which 16 are imported while 4 are locally are local transmitted. He said the new cases involve 13 Malaysians and 7 foreigners, 1 Vietnamese, 1 German, 1 Australian, 1 Japanese, 1 American and 2 Indonesians. The Court of Appeal will hear opposition leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim's appeal over the transfer order of his sodomy trial from the Sessions Court to the High Court on Tuesday. The much-awaited high-profile sodomy trial of PKR advisor Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim is set for hearing on July 8. 30 prosecution witnesses are expected to testify in the sodomy trial. Among the key witnesses are Anwar's former personal aide, Mohamad Saiful Bukhari Azlan, investigating officer DSP Jude Pereira, hospital Kuala Lumpur doctors and condominium staff. The High Court will also hear Anwar's application to strike out his sodomy charge on the same day. On March 10, Anwar had pleaded not guilty to sodomizing Saiful 24 at a condominium in Bukit Damansara, Kuala Lumpur on June 26 last year. Deputy Human Resources Minister Senator Dato Mazna Mazlan says the ministry will push for double tax relief for companies that set up daycare centres or provide funding for one. Mazna says the ministry is looking into ways to encourage employers and industries to provide such facilities for their workers. She says with daycare facilities being provided at workplaces, more women will be encouraged to go out and gain employment. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.